I think I'm more worried about this not being the end of my pain and discomfort. And that is something that I have to acknowledge and that is there. But you know what? Most people, most professionals, me personally, the person in charge of this body, we all think this is a good idea and we're going to go with that. What am I going to do? Cancel now? No. On this episode of That's Hysterical, Now Get Out. Oh, this podcast is going to be co-hosted by my cat, who is like, why are you still in bed, lady? It's my turn to have your heating pad. You see, she and I share my heating pad. It started one day when I got out of bed and I had my heating pad and the cat was here and I was like, you know what? Let me just put it on one, put it down, let the cat lay on it. And now she's kind of, she's she's my old lady. She has little arthritic hips and I'm sure the heating pad feels really good for her. So on most days when I leave the bed, I put the heating pad on for her and, you know, I leave it for a few hours. It turns itself off. It's fine. And she'll lay on it. (laughs) And the past few weeks I've been realizing this was a bad habit to get my cat into. Because now if I'm in bed longer than I normally am in the morning or if she sees I'm in bed and I'm awake, she is right there on top of me poking her head in my blanket, being like, hey, you done with that heating pad yet? And what's funny is I will bring her under the blanket, be like, fine, you want to be on the heating pad? Fine, but you have to be on my belly as well. And we're putting the blanket over me because I'm cold. She doesn't like that very much. She will lay on my heating pad on my uterus most days, but because it's winter, we have one or two blankets on most days. So it's a little, it's a little much for her, I think. I didn't come on to talk about my cat. I'm getting a hysterectomy today. I think I'm doing everything to distract myself from it. I woke up early. I drank my Gatorade. I was really happy. You know, the one thing that like I was assigned to do today is make sure you drink Gatorade two hours before you arrive. And I did. Totally did. And then I felt really gross because I normally don't drink Gatorade in the mornings. Or I normally don't eat or drink anything in the mornings. And... I think the shock of anything, plus the fact that it was sugar, I had to lay down because I was like, oh, am I going to throw up? (sighs) So that's been fun. I'm fine now. It's funny. There are so many thoughts. And at the same time, because there are so many, there's also this weird silence of, well, if I don't focus on any of them, I just hear a lot of noise in my brain. And that's okay. It kind of turns into white noise. So I'm just kind of sitting here watching the clock tick about an hour away from when I have to arrive. I'll take a shower. I'll get dressed, wear comfy clothes, wear clothes that are easy enough to get back into, probably wear some compression socks. They tell you not to shave two days before. And I'm like, well, they also give you a leg massage before surgery to get the circulation going. And I can't stop thinking about the fact that I'm like, I want to tell them, hey, listen, I got the instructions not to shave for about two days before surgery, so I'm really sorry when you give me that leg massage. It's the same shit I think when I go get a pedicure, too. And I'm like, oh, got to shave for a pedicure because they're going to run their hands up and down my legs four times, you know? (laughs) Oh, the rules of society are weird. And the fact that we're socialized so much to be like, oh, no, they're going to feel my hairy legs. Actually, it's more like, it's not even like the hairy legs. It's more like, oh, my stubble is kind of sharp. Like, I'm really sorry about that. It's going to (laughs) hurt. Oh, again, something very little I don't need to worry about, but it's fun to play with those thoughts. I don't really know what I'm thinking. I finished all my work last night, and it's so odd to wake up without that feeling of, okay, time to wake up. It's Monday. I do this and this and this today. I need to reach out to this person. But I don't have any of that. I did it all. Like, I am done. I keep getting this fear that I'm going to have a client who, like, does not take surgery seriously and is like, yeah, sure, okay, Emily. Um, Are you out of surgery yet? Because I need this change. And I don't have any of those clients. I really don't. But I keep thinking that, like, somebody will surprise me and decide, oh, you know what? Uh... I know we all agreed that today is all about you, but if we could just um, 
ask another favor of you? Could we just get some more shits from you today? That would be great. But it's not going to happen. I've gotten nothing but support. I have a wonderful text message. I have a wonderful group text going on with my friends right now that keeps interrupting me. So I might just leave it in the recording. And I love them so much. Like, the only reason I'm recording this is because my husband's in the shower getting ready. And it's the first time I'm kind of alone all day, I think. Yeah. In like an hour, I'm going to be in a room with like five or six other people. And I'm going to say, hi, nice to meet you. Ready to open me up and see inside of me. (sighs) It just makes you realize how ridiculous we all are as far as etiquette and proper and stigma and what's appropriate and not. Meanwhile, you go to the hospital and it's like, hey, strangers, welcome to XXX Emily, where you get access to everything no one's ever seen before. My therapist was funny. She's like, do you need the big thing to say goodbye to your uterus? Are you going to feel this attachment to it? And I'm like, no, I'm kind of, I'm ready for it to be out of here and stuff. And she's like, okay, you know, some people like to have a party or acknowledge it. And I think she was kind of trying to feel out where I was in the whole process. But I think she knew I was in so much pain that she's like, okay, so you're just, you're ready to go. Okay. And it was almost like, she's like, why did you want to see me today? Why do you want therapy today if you seem pretty okay with it? And I was more just like, because what if I'm not? Like, what if I, I feel okay with it and I'm all excited? I think I'm more worried about this not being the end of my pain and discomfort. And that is something that I have to acknowledge and that is there. But you know what? Most people, most professionals, me personally, the person in charge of this body, we all think this is a good idea and we're going to go with that. What am I going to do? Cancel now? No. Oh, all right. I'm oddly calm. I was so worried. I'm like, I should record the day of. I will be off the wall and I will be banana pants. I don't know why I think all of a sudden I'm going to wake up and be this completely different person. I feel like the most banana pants entry was maybe three days ago, right before I did the six things that made it a lovely day. I think at that point, my brain was kind of scattered. And I remember waking up and having just a very hectic morning and thinking, oh no, your morning kind of dictates your entire day. And this is going to be my entire day. And then in that moment where I was doing the six things I was grateful for, that made a lovely day. I was, I felt okay afterwards and it kind of calmed me down. So I had a lovely day yesterday with my friends. I had a great day finishing up my work. It really, it wasn't even a big work day. It wasn't like I was getting all my assignments done yesterday. I had actually project managed myself really well, including fun times, including rest times, including a nap. I mean, I didn't plan for the nap, but I ended up having a nice free period. And I was like, you know what? Let's take a nap. And today I've been joking with people. I'm just excited that this will be the longest uninterrupted nap I've had. Hello. Hello. Are you just, talking to somebody? No, I'm recording some thoughts. I was thinking about making a podcast about this whole experience. So I've been... <laughs> Not today, by of the course way. you are. <laughs> of course I am. I know. By the way, this has been like a month going on of deciding to like record all my thoughts and make a podcast. And so I don't know when I, I'll have the time. But hey, you want to say hi on my podcast? Hi on your podcast. <laughs> all right. So... Yeah, I guess this is day zero. I'm going in. My husband's here. Now he knows I'm recording a podcast about it. And yeah, see you on the other side. Take care.